Today is Monday, July 30th, 2018. We are at Martha Mariam St. Mary's Church at Kadathruti in the Kottayam district of Kerala, India. We have an interesting person to talk to today, Mebin John. Mebin John came to the limelight through Ruha Media and we started uh, an international competition for Syriac chants, which caught on the social media and he has, in fact, Mabin has created a, a small revolution. So Mabin, thank you for allowing to talk thank to you. you. I was caught up by your contribution to Ruha Media. What is Ruha Media? Who started it? When did it start it? What was the purpose? Uh, me and my friend Thomas Sarian, both of us have started Ruha Media back in 2014. Both of us are like like-minded persons. We are interested to preserve the traditions and ancient liturgy of our church. So we have conducted some discussions, and we were like extremely uh, disappointed with the present situation of our church because many of them were not interested to preserve. So we discussed about the importance of uh, the East Syriac liturgy as well as the Syriac chants. So we decided to. Uh, do some contributions rather than make, like uh, making comments. We d we wanted to make some contributions for the church for our next generation. So back in 2014, we started Ruha Media as an online platform to promote East Syriac as well as the Syriac language, then our traditions. So we got a few Facebook pages, YouTube channels, and even uh, Twitter and Instagram accounts to promote the liturgy and the traditions. So uh, Ruha Media mainly aims uh, in video creations, documentaries, and even uh, Facebook posts uh, to give more awareness about our culture and Syriac tradition to the coming generation. Beautiful. Well, I am so, you surprised me. You know, you are not a seminarian. You are, you, know, you are just an ordinary person, a skilled young man who, live in, who lives in New, Zealand. in New Zealand. And you are so young, you never grew up in the Syriac tradition. How come you got fascinated by the Syriac heritage? Uh, back in 2007, I was fortunate enough to participate in Raza Kurbana, the most solemn Kurban of our church. Uh, which was celebrated by our bishop, Mar Joseph Kellerringer. On that day, our bishop chanted the word of institution in Syriac language, which was alien to me. And I checked with my friends, none of them were aware, aware about what's happening over there. How old were you? Uh, I was studying in 8th standard. So one of the ex-seminarians, uh, he told this is Syriac language. Thereby I started digging about Syriac language. I went to my home and I asked, I asked about my mother, what is Syriac? And, uh, my maternal grandfather, uh, he was a choir member of the Cathedral Church of Pala. He used to play instruments during Syriac Kurbana. So my mother gave me more information about the importance of Syriac language. Thereby I started to learn more about the history of our church as well as about the Syriac tradition. Then I was keen to learn the language, but at that point of time, there were no resources to learn the language. So uh, the same year, uh, by December, I was fortunate to find a notice of our church. It was about the parish feast, uh, which was going to happen in the Jan. Uh, it stated that there would be a Surya Kurbana in our church. So I got excited and I wanted to participate. So being an altar boy, so I wanted to uh, serve the altar during that time. Mm. So what I did, I went to uh, Maraprim priest home. So I was fortunate enough to meet another father, Father Vetikel, he's no more. Father Vetikel helped me, he found the gospel for that day and he transliterated the language. So I wrote it in Malayala, the Syriac thing, and I was fortunate to read that on uh, the Suri Kurbanati. Not the gospel, but uh, the epistle. Yes, epistle. You the wrote e the epistle? Yes. You wrote it in Evangelion. The Evangelion, yes. Wow. So <laughs> then, then I started to explore more about Suri language. That was a time for social media revolution. Mm -hmm. I found a lot of angsters who were interested in Suri language and tradition in Orkut, our Orkut community, then in Facebook also. 
if you check the social media accounts for the church, the communities like Sierra Malabar Catholic Church or all the Facebook groups, you can find a lot of angsters, not the priests, not the seminary, a lot of angsters like me who are interested to keep the tradition. But unfortunately, our church is divided uh, in the name of liturgy, in the name of uh, diocese, eparchy, and everything. But the angsters as well as the faithful from all the epochies are united to preserve. There are a lot of people who are interested to preserve the language and the tradition. So thereby I started to contribute something for the betterment of our generation. Okay, let us come back to your bold venture. You're a media man and you took a bold venture to organize an internet competition of Sri Chance. And I'm sure you were surprised as I am by the response that you received from around the diaspora communities and from the communities in India, from around the world. So, did you expect that kind of response to this venture? Never, Father, never. Actually, uh, the competition is named before Amit Tantros Periparan, one of, the, one of my ang ang friends whom I met in social media. He's no more. We lost our friend back in 2016 in a road accident. So we, he was also like us who wanted to preserve the language. He was from Paridabad. He wanted to preserve, like us, he also wanted to preserve the tradition and the liturgy of our church. So uh, me and my friend, my online friends, we were discussing to conduct something for his name. So we decided to conduct an online Siri competition, Siri uh, Chan competition. And uh, when we started this plan, we never expected this, this will be a success. So, uh, as you know, there are a few ang priests uh, in Sri Ramalaba Church who can sing songs. So we requested them, Father, could you please send a few teams? But fortunately, we got around 20 teams and when we published all the videos, it got viral. Hmm. So we were getting a, a lot of requests from people from Coil, even from uh, outside Kerala. They want to participate in this competition. So it became a huge success. That's really, really great. Now, why did you do it for Amit Antru's Pelepardon? What was his, in, how was he connected to Sri Heritage? So, Amit's family is from Treshu. They got uh, settled in Faridabad, the eparchy of the Sri Malabar Church. So, we met him through our Orkut community. And Amit was also extremely interested to preserve the language and even the, tri the, the, the liturgy of our church. So whenever we conduct some discussions, whenever we do uh, some video posting, uh, he used to encourage us, he used to participate in all those discussions. He was like an like elder brother for me. So being a bank professional, he found his time to share all these things in social media. Of course, he used to get a lot of negative things from his eparchy, even he swam against all, the, all, the, all those tides for the betterment of our church. So that, that's why we also wanted to do something for his memorial because he, he contributed a lot of things during those times and, and we know that he is praying for our church and, and we believe that it is, but Amit's uh, like prayer is more important for our church, for the unity of our church. That's why we wanted to do something for him. That's fantastic. Now, I'm curious, do you sing? I don't sing, Father. I don't know how to read Syriac. So, okay. But how does Syriac music? Because now you are the face, youthful face of Syriac chants on the media. So, how does Syriac chant touch you, affect you? I find spirituality through Syriac songs. Okay. Because I don't uh, like like the rock music kind of things or the typical choir which we used to celebrate in our church. In the church now. In the church. But I find a closer atmosphere to my God through three songs. Even if you do not understand fully the text, the meaning of the text, you feel a kind of vibe, a vibration, a resonance with these melodies? Yes, of course, Father. Father, whenever we participate in some Surya Kurbanas, we can find a lot of uh, old people who attend. If you closely watch them, they, they're crying. You can find tears in their eyes. They don't, they don't know the language, they don't know the meaning, but they can 
they can find some like closeness to the goal. I, I get that feeling through Suryak songs, oh, right. and I love East Suryak spirituality. That makes me uh, to become more closer to my God. Okay. What's your plan for the future? Plan for the future, uh, like. Uh, we have an inspiration that is Rahul Payapalli. Uh -huh. He's also a like-minded person like us. Uh, his marriage video got viral in Facebook or YouTube Why? because he has conducted his marriage ceremony in typical Nasrani liturgy. Huh. Yes, because there were a lot of Sridhik songs, even the crowning ceremony, he brought it back. Huh. Literally, he brought it back. Wow. The Burmarian song, which used to sing by our forefathers, he brought it back to Sri Malabar Church. So, Burmarian song was sung at the end of his marriage? Yes. Wow. We love that song. Beautiful. Of course, uh, like the Epoch of Kotayam, they are still preserving that song. Yes. But yes. many of our like great, great grandfathers, they remember those songs and we want to, to preserve that song even in our ceremony is also. Absolutely, absolutely. That is wonderful. So, what's your area of, how, does you, how do you earn your bread, daily bread? I'm a journalist, I'm a media professional. I work with the Indian News in Auckland. I see. So, spare time, this is your passion. Yes, this is my so passion. You will continue to do this. Of course, I will do it. God bless you, and you bring us, bring me, and all of the older generations so much hope that this tradition will be handed over to your generation and your children's generation and for many, many coming years. Thank you, Thank Father. You so. Thank you very much, Father. Yes.